This is Twit. So Jace, I have your app installed, and I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, talk about it. I, I'll show it off while you chat about it. Okay, so I, what they're laughing about is the fact that I'm going to take a hit right away because the design of the Android version of this app is less than stellar, okay? <laughs> it's pocket informant. Now, stop giggling because this, this app does some crazy good stuff. So as someone who spent, I don't know, my wife doesn't watch it so I can say it, like two or $300 uh, trying to find a great calendar task manager life organizer app, um, this hits the sweet spot because the problem is, is a lot of these apps are either super simple, too simple, they're not geared towards power users, and the ones that are geared towards power users are super freaking complicated and time consuming. I mean, you have to set aside organization time to organize your app, right? It's right. ridiculous. So um, now this hits a sweet spot because you can spend just minutes a day organizing your week, your month, or whatever, and it does all the typical things you want to. You want you want it to sync across multiple devices. It also syncs cross platform. So if you're like many people and you have an Android phone but you have an iPad, those devices are going to sync up no problem. Um, now the other thing it does, if you are a power user and you really want to do get into projects and keywords and tags and stuff like that, you can do that too. I mean, you can totally geek out. You can even do uh, what's it called uh, project completion rate. So this project is twenty percent done. This project's eighty percent done, and you can share it and collaborate too. Although that's really not its 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 strength. Um, but I this is one of two apps that keep me on iOS because the uh, the Android or the iOS version is just designed so so well. Um, but they have a desktop version and also a Mac version that's really well done, and that looks fantastic. Um, and I can't live without that. I absolutely love it. When did the so so they have this for iOS? Does it look like is the design similar to this on iOS? Totally, or is it different? Different. totally, totally different. Totally different. So they it's, need, it's a they need to update thing. their design. their design money on iOS, not yeah. Android, unfortunately. But the functions are still in the the Android version. Got it. So if we if we clamor enough, they're going to change the design and, and make it look like a chip. <laughs> sure, they will. <laughs> if we if everyone rises up and votes for this in this week's arena, they're going to update this app. They haven't updated it since November twenty fifth, two thousand fifteen. But they are going to update this app. By God, I promise you that. I, I had to choose an app that I was passionate about, ready to fight for. <laughs> Honestly, I actually love that you that you brought in this app because sometimes it's sometimes it is pretty great to go back in time and take a look at a design, you know, that's maybe a little outdated, maybe a little bit more than a little, but uh, but if see, it gets the job done, if it does, if it does, the, does the task that that's that's half the battle, right? Well, I mean, yeah, there so. there are a lot of apps in the in the Play Store that people still use. Like, I still get recommendations for for certain apps, and I look it up, and it hasn't been updated in a very long time. But I mean, you know, people swear by this app. They've been using it for years. They know how it works. It does exactly what they need to do, uh, and yeah, like why why wouldn't they recommend it? Because it f fills that need, you know. So. There you go. Uh, awesome stuff. It's called, uh, well, it's called Pocket Informant. If you're looking in the Play Store, it's listed as Informant, and it's by Fanatic Software, uh, so you can check it out for yourself.